Ooh, where's my tea? Hi guys, Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got for Christmas. Before I start, I don't want to be like bragging and being like, oh look at all these things everybody's bought me because obviously I understand everybody's situation is different. But that being said, I would tell my friends what I got for Christmas and I kind of see my channel as that. So with that little disclaimer thrown in, let's crack on and let me show you what I've got for Christmas. Now first of all, I'm going to start with my secret Santa present. And this is what I got. How cute. I think this would just be super cute to use when you have people coming round and yeah, I mean, that, that'll be two cups of tea, wouldn't it? Anyway, I thought I'd start with that one because look how fun it is. Oh my god, it's noisy though, isn't it? I personally think you are never too old to have a stocking and that is definitely true in my household. Here's my stocking. Um, I, of course I got like pants, socks and sweets and chocolates, which I'm not going to show you, but I thought I'd show you the beauty bits that I got. Um, I got a Tangle Teaser, as you might be able to tell I have used it this morning, but I can literally never have enough Tangle Teasers or wet brushes because I always lose hair brushes. Whenever I need a hairbrush, I can never ever find one. I got this pretty kooky umbrella, which I very much enjoy. And I think this is definitely going to come in handy in British springtime, which is rolling around. Oh my god, where's my life going? I swear my life is passing me by. Anyway, I also got a little baby Lizzo Kenzo polish. It says Christmas edition. The only difference is the piece of cardboard, but I don't care. I think it's cute. And then I got a little baby cleanse and polish, so I might take that on my travels next month. Have any of you been uh, sale shopping today? Um, I haven't um, because I don't need anything, but I have looked online. But anyway, also in my stocking, I got this set from the body shop, which is the strawberry scrub and the strawberry body butter. That is so hard to say. Um, but yeah, so I will be nice, moisturised and have really soft skin. I may actually review this set because I've never tried it before and I tell you for free, this body scrub smells real good, so I could be smelling real good too. I'm going to show you what I've got around my neck. I actually got this for Christmas. This is a necklace from Lost at Sea Jewellery. Hang on, let me... Oh, My boyfriend got me this necklace from Lost at Sea Jewellery, which I think is super duper cute. I think this would be a really nice layering piece because it's sort of like in that middle. It's not super short, it's not super long either. Um, I might as well show you what else my boyfriend got me. He got me the Naked 2 Basics palette. I'm going to be honest with you, I told him exactly what to get me um, in those terms. He did not pick this one out himself, but I very much love the original Naked palette, um, Naked Basics palette. So I thought this one would be fun. Anyway, that's what that one looks like there. And also to go with my necklace, he got me this jewellery box here, which is big and wooden and very old timey. And he also got me a CM Punk toy, which is a little inside joke. But yeah, so that's what I got from my boyfriend. I might as well stick with friends presents too. Um, Emma, my good friend Emma, who you would have seen in my Vegas vlogs, got me the Illamasqua Facet Palette in Aura which oh, looks like this and I must say I am wearing this brow colour today and I'm also wearing this uh, eyeshadow as well which I've blown out through my crease and I very 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 much enjoy this colour actually um, so I've been enjoying this for the past two days <laughs> oh god I like Christmas and now on to my best bird Mitch he got me a vegan tuck box which is this here and I've actually already demolished some pretzels <laughs> which were real good but um comes with a bunch of sweet stuff and it's also got this um, porridge mix which you can um, obviously make up and uh, basically I've kind of been thinking about going vegan for a while but um, so he got me this to show me them vegan treats so I've got that which I think is pretty cool. Mitch and I always buy each other a DVD and a book and this year I've probably got the most contrasted two that I've ever received. So for a book he got me Girl Online, um, I've got a long plane journey ahead of me and not to diss Zoe's book, I haven't read it, but I tend to not read books like this. <laughs> but he was just like, I think, you know, it's what I'm into and um, I've got a long play journey ahead of me. So this would be a nice, don't have to think too much book. And in contrast to that, he got me the first five wrong turns. They've apparently now announced a sixth because, you know, we need a sixth wrong turn film. If you haven't watched these, um, they're hilarious. They're absolutely hilarious. Uh, the second one has Henry Rollins in, if you like Black Flag. Um, that's fun. Anyway, so I got those. And for my big present from him, because I just moved house, he's got me these really cool bookends. Um, before uh, Beauty and YouTube, believe it or not, I used to be very big into analog photography. And I've been meaning to get back into it. Um, I think my, what draws me back from it is I live in England and the lighting's crap in England most of the time so when using film like you don't want to waste the film because film's quite expensive 
um, but I tend to photograph in the summer a lot more than in the winter. So anyway, that's the story behind this. Hang on, how does that look? So um, I really enjoy these. I think they're super duper cool and I can already imagine them in my flat. And yeah, I'm gonna take my cameras on holiday with me. So thanks so much for getting me these. I think they're really cool. Oh, I'll quickly pop to it too. Um, my auntie also got me this really cute um, jewelry box as well. So I've now definitely got places to store my jewelry. And also another little random present my auntie got me was a bath pillow. Uh, this was a different auntie, but um, I actually asked for this because I don't have one. And this is a second glory one and it is massive. Whose head's this big? Not mine, but I look forward to having a nice bath and being nice and comfortable and reading a book. So I am all set. My nan was very generous and got me a lovely charm from Lynx of London. And um, she knows that I have a charm bracelet and she got me a nice little A to go on it, which ooh, looks like, well, you know what an A looks like. And you know, my name's Alice. So that kind of makes sense. But I, yeah, I think that's really super duper cute. I am kind of saving the best till last. I actually have received three lipsticks. One of which I'm wearing on my lips right now, which is the Chanel Fanboyant lipstick. This is the one in their Christmas collection. Um, I think it's number 337 and it's in the Rouge Allure Velvet line. Um, it's just a really nice Christmassy red. Let me show that to you. Oh, look at that. That, like, You know when you think of like a lipstick? That's what you think of. That is what a lipstick looks like when you think lipstick. Or at least when I think lipstick, that's what lipstick looks like. Anyway, um, so this is actually my first Chanel lipstick. I've got quite a few um, Chanel bases, but I haven't got anything else. So um, I'm very happy that I've got that. But I've also got two lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a brand that I've never tried before. Charlotte Tilbury's well known for sort of like doing like sets of stuff, like, oh, like the Dolce Vita and the Rock Chick and the Sophisticat and all that stuff. Um, but if you go on her website, she also does like other smaller groups of stuff together. And you could actually get these two lipsticks together. Um, my brother got me this. Again, I told him exactly what to get. And, um, when I was picking which lipstick set that I wanted, I wanted to get something that I didn't have because I wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't want to just get another colour which I have something similar of. So I went for this set, which was Sexy Sienna, which is sort of like a peachy uh, nudie colour. It's a bit more of a summery colour, but I'll still wear it. Definitely, I'll still wear it. Um, and I also got uh, Lost Cherry. Uh, these two were actually the lipsticks I heard most about when um, the Matte Revolution line, which is the line that these are from, um, was released. Specifically Lost Cherry is what caught my eye because I don't have a colour like this and I've never seen really a colour like this. Like It's kind of like a strawberry, raspberry, pinky... I don't know, it's just a really interesting colour. And so that's why I wanted that and this is the lipstick that came with it but um, again I don't have any nudes really like this. And last but not least for my parents they gave me the GHD Curve. This is the classic one I think. It's the one that's like an oblong shape. You've got one that's more like a traditional conical wand and then you've got this one which is for suited for more longer hair which is obviously what I have. And it's actually what I've used on my hair today and so far so good. I will definitely be doing a full blown review on what I think of this. Probably it won't be until February because I want to have a good amount of time with it. It before I sort of put my thoughts down on it but so far so good I've used it obviously the p today and yesterday and it also comes with this like big case slash roll mat thing which is very cute anyway um I hope you guys are having a lovely boxing day I'm here on the schler um I hope you're having loads of fun with your family and enjoying the festive period and I shall see you again very soon Merry Christmas bye Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this